Hello, hello, hello. So I'm here to talk about some SD card problems that you might, most people, I've, I've seen a lot of people have the, the these issues. So I figured I'd make a short video. This is usually a vlog channel, but hey, no. So hopefully it helps you some of you out. So I'm going to show you um, with my camera. So I have an RX um, V100 M5 or something along those lines. And here we go. Here's the camera and all that stuff. When you turn it on, you can have a... Oh, I might be turning it back on and off. But you might have two possible errors. One of these possible errors is this guy. Unable to read memory card, reinsert memory card. You might have this for a couple reasons. So we're just going to try to fix both at the same time to be in and out and done with it. So I'm going to turn it over. Pop my guy out. Right here, just for an example or so, I got the worst air possible. This guy is missing his little buddy. He needs his, uh, his little micro card. So I'll put it in the micro card. That'll fix some of the errors. Another part of it is this trigger right here. Sometimes you'll see locked, and sometimes your camera will let you know that it's locked, which is good but not all the time. Sometimes it'll give you that same error, sometimes it'll say locked. When it's locked, it's usually towards this guy. See this little little doohickey right here? That's kinda on the edge of the camera. I'm gonna slide that down. That will unlock it in most cases and uh, make it work. So you have to have it, if you have it in between, it gets confused too. So you slide that all the way down, do that, Reinsert the bad boy in the camera. This part's broke, so I have to do it kind of manually. It's an older camera. And once I do that, that error should go away. If it does not go away, try reformatting your memory card. There's a thing called SD card formatter, et cetera, et cetera. Look up on camera specs, see what your camera likes to use. Experiment a couple times. If it doesn't work right away, that doesn't mean you need a new card. But if you can't get your card to show up, um, you can see everything's looking fine. It didn't even say any error. So I'm going to hit record. I'm recording. Recording just fine. If these things don't necessarily work for you, well, you should. I always recommend getting one of these. This is the Best Buy brand, I believe, Exignia. But of the reader. If it reads in here, you probably can get it to work for your camera. You just have to do a little uh, bits and bobs and odds and ends. I had to spend a couple hours this morning. One of mine didn't work and my camera got hung up on an old setting um, and none of the cards worked. And then all of a sudden it got fixed and it started working. You will have issues like that because technology is technology and technology kind of sucks. Best of luck to you. Hopefully this helped you out in every way. If there's a, if you had to go through a more complicated step below, right below, so you can help more people out, like I did. I don't know how which one of mine fixed it. I formatted it a couple times. I tried it. I put in, in it. I put in different, different ones of these, to uh, get it working, and it just started working. And then all of them started working instead of me having to go to the store to buy a new one. Best of luck to you. Hopefully this helps. Bye.